This is a review and demonstration of the LG 5 cubic feet high efficiency top load washing machine model WT7300C in white. In this review, I'll share with you the washing machine cycles, other features, some of the specifications, the SmartThink app, touch up on installation, do a load of laundry or eight, and share my likes and dislikes along the way. And to make it fun, I'll be sure to drop in every entertaining, confusing, and trademarked buzzword that LG uses to describe the features of this model. Lastly, I'll show you the washer in action. As always, see the information section below if you'd like to jump to a specific point in the video. For example, if you only want to see the washer in action, or perhaps the creepy face that appeared in the washing machine while washing towels for this video. We got this model four months ago to replace a 20 year old Maytag that wasn't as large as this LG or as complicated either. There was definitely a learning curve going from this to this, but we're pleased that this LG provides many options and features that are helpful to our household. If you're like us and upgrading your machine after decades of using an older machine, the first thing you'll notice is the beautiful stainless steel tub and the fact that it doesn't have an agitator in the middle of it. Newer machines, like this LG, have an impeller here in the bottom of the tub. This machine uses LG's trademark six motion technology buzzword, which is six different motions to rub the clothes together and get them clean in less water. And because you're using the same amount of detergent in less water, the detergent is more concentrated for better stain removal. Also, not having an agitator adds to the usable cubic feet of the machine. What you're not likely to notice is what's inside. As noted here, it says inverter direct drive, and that's referring to the motor. Now, I'm not an expert on this as I haven't had reason to take this thing apart yet. Oh, yeah. And I'm not an electrical engineer like my dad. Yeah, so buddy. <laughs> that's just my disclaimer for the next few statements. Anyway, older models of washing machines used a motor, pulley, and belt drive system to turn the tub and agitator to get your clothes clean. A direct drive motor would typically mean the motor is directly connected to the shaft of the tub. Inverter usually means there's an electronic drive control system, likely a circuit board, which controls speed and torque. Ultimately, the takeaway is less vibration and noise and more efficiency. And this model's ENERGY STAR qualified. Regarding noise level, or should I say the low decibel motor, and true balance anti-vibration system designed to reduce washer noise and vibration for smooth, quiet performance, I honestly don't notice that this machine is much, if any, quieter than our old machine. Before I throw in a load of laundry, I'll show you the control panel and features. I'll turn on the machine by pressing the power button. And if the machine was loaded and I wanted to simply run a normal cycle, I could just press and hold the start button. That would get it started. If I wanted to make changes or choose a different cycle, I'd use the dial a cycle selector knob to select any one of these eight programs. And downloaded can include one of many programs, which I'll talk about in a moment. Surprisingly, I use more cycles than I expected to, and the cycles are as follows. Normal, which is for moderately soiled cotton, linen, shirts, jeans, and mixed loads. This is the most efficient cycle given it uses turbo wash, which I'll explain later. Heavy Duty, which uses more powerful wash motions for heavily soiled fabrics. Deep Wash, which uses additional water if it's a mixed load of moderately and heavily soiled garments. I use this one frequently. Waterproof, for waterproof items only, like water resistant clothing, for example, raincoats, or mattress covers, sleeping bags, etc. Pre Wash and Normal uh, is to pre wash stains without needing to hand wash. You basically load pre treated stained items, start the cycle, and after the chime, add detergent and the remaining clothes. Delicates, for small loads and dress shirts, blouses, nylons, silk, lacy garments, and wool. Bedding, for large bulky items such as pillows, blankets, comforters, sheets, and polyfill jackets. And I use this to wash my little assistant's full set of bedding. And that includes sheets, pillowcases, blanket, duvet cover, all at once. Thanks, Dad. And finally, downloaded, of which the default is small load, and that's good for two to three items. Using the app, you can download any one of currently 22 different cycles based on size, stain, garment fabric type, and environment. I've only tried small load so far, which is the default, but for a full description of each downloadable cycle, just select it. Keep in mind, you can only store one downloaded program at a time on the machine. However, 
the last downloaded cycle will remain on the machine until it's replaced. Once you've selected a cycle, you can use the cycle modifier buttons here to choose a different wash temperature based on a garment's cleaning instructions. And I have no idea what the difference between cold and tap cold and warm versus semi-warm are. Hmm. Not in the manual. Oh, and I should point out that all rinses are cold. It's noted here. You can change the spin cycle or select no spin to extract more or less water from the load and adjust the soil level, which may change wash time. Not all settings are available on all cycles, and I'll show you that in a moment. Here you can select special care items, which are just special cycles and options. For example, rinse and spin only, which does just that. You use this option by turning on power and then pressing special care until rinse and spin only is selected, then press an old start for a good old fashioned rinse and spin. Speed wash, that can be used to quickly wash a small load of two to three lightly soiled garments. Stain care is a cycle that starts with warm water then adds hot to remove stains. It's meant for small loads. And finally, soak, which adds 30 minutes of soak time prior to a selected wash cycle. Just keep in mind that this cycle uses the soak water for the wash cycle, and that could be gross if you're dealing with a serious code brown. Parents with small kids, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Had garments is more of an indicator that while the light is on, you can add garments or remove objects you might have left in your pockets. Like coins, your wallet, or your other app's cell phone. And it won't impact cycle time. Once the add garments light has gone off, however, you can still press the play pause button and remove or add items, but cycle time or wash performance could be affected. Now, just to further confuse you, on the outside here, LG has included even more cycle options, special cycles, and special functions marked with an asterisk. Additional cycle options include cold wash, turbo wash 3D, water plus, and extra rinse. Cold wash, which is trademarked apparently, and confusing because it's not the same as merely selecting a cold wash temperature, is supposed to save energy by using cooler water. It's best for small loads of less than eight pounds is what it says. Now, because it increases wash and rinse times to maintain wash performance, I really have to question how much energy is really saved. Spill it, LG. Okay. Water Plus can be used to add extra water to a wash cycle for better performance with larger bulky items. And I should just note that selecting this option with the normal cycle just changes the cycle to deep wash. Turbo Wash wrestles your clothes like a person wrestling an alligator, only without the yelling and screaming and cries for help. Seriously? I'm just kidding. Turbo Wash uses powerful washing motions in the tub, water temperature, the jet spray at the top of the tub, and a special combination of drain, rinse, and spin to ultimately get your clothes clean in less time and using less water. Turbo Wash is the default for normal, for the normal cycle, and can be selected for heavy duty and some downloaded cycles like small load and speed wash. Extra rinse adds an extra rinse or two to the cycle depending on how many times you press the button. Just note that if you use fabric softener, it'll be added to whatever the final rinse is. I should point out that not all cycle modifiers or options are available on all cycles, as you can see here in the manual, and that's to protect your clothes according to LG. Now, if you try to select an option that's not available, for example, deep wash with the trademarked cold wash, you hear the two chimes of shame to tell you, knock it off. Tub clean is a maintenance cycle used monthly to remove residue and any odor from the tub. It runs for over an hour, and there are a variety of cleaning products that can be used. I like the idea of this, and I'm impressed at how the tub gets blown dry at the end, but as you can see here, it didn't remove these water spots. Now, we don't have hard water, so I typically use bleach, but perhaps I'll try a different product next time. The other buttons and items marked with an asterisk are special functions, and items marked with an asterisk require you to press and hold the button for three seconds to select them. Press and hold remote start for three seconds to start the washer from the SmartThink app, and this I find especially helpful in that I can avoid sleeping on the couch as a result of starting the washer while someone's in the shower. <laughs> Sorry, honey. <laughs> delay wash is similar in that you can delay the start time from one to 19 hours by consecutively pressing the delay wash button. Now, pressing and holding the delay wash button for three seconds turns on Wi-Fi, so you can connect to your router for use with the app. Holding the spin button for three seconds runs a spin only cycle, and that can be helpful if you've washed clothes by hand and you just want to spin out the water. Signal is used to turn on or off the musical signal. 
and pressing and holding the signal button for three seconds turns on control lock to prevent buttons from being pressed by curious children? Definitely not cats. In the time and status display, this indicator tells you when the lid's locked. This one shows you that Wi-Fi is enabled and they're both hard to see. And the others are cycle status indicators. For example, load sensing, wash, rinse, and spin cycles. The machine's countdown timer here is helpful and the amount of time frequently changes up or down depending on what the machine's sensing. The normal cycle usually starts at 59 minutes but quickly jumps down to 39 minutes after sensing a medium-sized load. I've occasionally noticed the last one minute of a cycle though can take anywhere from a minute and a half to a lot more depending on the situation, which is why I really appreciate receiving a notification from the app, for example, when the load's finished or unbalanced, in which case the machine may run consecutive rinse and spin cycles and waste a lot of energy and water trying to rebalance the load. And then it gives up. But at least the app lets me know that it's unbalanced. Phew, are you thoroughly confused yet? If so, don't feel bad, I was too even after reading the manuals a few times. And yes, I said manuals, plural. Now, I've got a scold LG here because not only is most of this stuff not intuitive, but the washer arrives with a somewhat generic manual that only covers installation and the basics. To learn about the control panel, cycles, modifier buttons, and options buttons, you have to scan a QR code here in the manual to download a 65 page PDF of which only 16 pages applies to this specific model. Hey LG, how about putting this information in one manual? Or better yet, in the app. Now since my other app doesn't read manuals, I created this cheat sheet for her and I attached it to the washer. She looked at it, rolled her pretty green eyes and said, seriously, come on. So needless to say, I'm the only one who's read all the documentation and is using my cheat sheet. So I have no idea what she does when she's on laundry duty. Now I'll talk about the SmartThink app, which is helpful and informative. Just note, the washer works with a 2.4 gigahertz router frequency only. So I downloaded the app, created an LG account, although there are a number of ways to log in, added the washer by hitting the plus sign, followed the prompts to connect, and voila machine registered. Things I find helpful in the app are the ability to remote start the machine, assuming it's powered on, select or download cycles, check cycle progress, and my favorite, receiving notifications when the wash is done or the load is unbalanced. Notifications are a total time saver. The app also tells me when to run a tub clean cycle, although I wish it would send me a monthly notification. It allows for energy monitoring, which is interesting, but not necessarily helpful. It provides smart diagnosis, should I have an issue, and allows for auto replenishment if I want laundry products delivered by Amazon. Strangely, the app also provides current weather conditions, which I guess could be helpful if I had a clothesline in the backyard, but I already have an app for that. A few more things I'd like to share. In my opinion, this panel's poorly organized. Temperature, spin level, and soil level aside, the rest of the panel is a random buffet of additional options, what I'd consider additional cycles, and special functions. It's kind of all over the place. The control panel's layout is not particularly intuitive in my opinion. Also, I find the soft touch buttons need to be pressed slowly and gently or else they're non-responsive. Doesn't happen all the time, just sometimes it's frustrating. Trying to get to normal. With regard to efficiencies, I have to question the amount of energy and even water savings that I recognize given I use cycles we didn't previously have on our old machine, like deep wash, bedding, and tub clean, and options like water plus and cold wash. I can say, however, the drying time has been reduced slightly given the high and extra high spin cycles do a great job extracting water from the load. The clothes come out mildly damp. Just briefly, installation was easy enough and I did it myself. Most importantly, properly level the machine side to side, front to back, using a level and the adjustable feet. This thing can spin at high speed, so balance is critical. This machine has a roughly five foot cord with a three prong plug. It requires 120 volts AC and you shouldn't use extension cords. The water intakes are in the middle of the machine in the back, just below the control panel, and the drain hose is roughly five feet long. 
Regarding the warranty, the direct drive motor has a 10 year warranty and the stainless steel tub has a three year warranty. Just keep in mind the warranty only covers parts, not labor. Any internal functional parts, for example, the circuit board or control panel come with a one year warranty, but that covers parts and labor. Finally, let's load the washer. I'll show you the washer in action on a normal cycle using the default settings, which includes turbo wash. And in the interest of time, I'm going to show you the beginning of the cycle in real time and then speed it up. If you want to see the other cycles, I'll try to provide links to them in the information section below. Here at the beginning of the cycle, when it feels like the machine is goofing off, the machine is using load sensing technology to determine runtime and how much water to use. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show.
To wrap up, this machine has all the features our family needs. The learning curve was steep, but we're ultimately happy with the features and performance. You'll need to weigh the pros and cons for yourself and decide if this machine can handle the never-ending supply of dirty clothes generated by you and your loved ones. If this video has been helpful, please do me a favor and like it. And most importantly, please subscribe. That always helps me out. Thanks so much for watching.